Greetings from the World Food Prize in Des Moines, Iowa. I was so looking forward to being at the marvelous conference that my friend Thad Simons and his team from IFAMA have put together in Cape Town. But I have to be with Secretary of State John Kerry uh, at the State Department in Washington, D.C. as we announce our uh, 2014 World Food Prize laureate. I wanted to be there because I believe that IFAMA has focus on the key issue in Africa today. Can the world of business and innovation and entrepreneurship be linked to African agriculture and extended out to all of the smallholder farmers who are now mainly engaged in subsistence agriculture but need to be transformed into productive business persons? One of the things we're doing together with IFAMA was working on the marvelous 40 Chances Fellowship initiative that was launched last year at the World Food Prize by former Prime Minister Tony Blair and Howard G. Buffett. And the World Food Prize is a partner with them in implementing this, and we're so grateful that uh, IFAMA has been using all of its connections to reach out into Rwanda, Malawi, Sierra Leone, and Liberia seeking those individuals under the age of 40 to apply for this $150,000 fellowship. And this is exactly the kind of program and initiative that IFAMA is seeking to instill in young people all over Africa through its programs. So we at the World Food Prize, we're delighted to be working with IFAMA to carry forward Dr. Norman Borlaug's legacy and vision for Africa.